What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. She's talking about Jordan Peele's nope in this video here again today. Now a new interview came out earlier today with Kiki Palmer going into a little bit more about how excited she is about this movie going on about how it's different from Get Out and Us talking about how Jordan of course always implements the social commentaries on in his movies and just going on about how of course she's excited for it how she loved how her character progressed over the course of the movie and of course how excited she is for us to experience it I personally just want to, and we also got a new image as well from Entertainment Weekly, who the interview was through, showing us uh, Kiki's character and Daniel Kaluuya's character, who I, I will just start calling them the Hayworths because that's who they are. They are the Hayworths in this fam in this movie. Uh, but an exclusive image came out today because of that new interview. But I want to talk about mostly. I hear what Kiki said about how this is nothing like Get Out in Us. And the reason I'm what I'm going to talk about today is how this again is just, of course, marketing techniques. But I think this particular technique might be trying to in, in, in addition to working it with my theory. This is a way to draw us away from the twist that might be coming, which is something that many people have been talking about ever since the movie Get Out came out on DVD, which is that this is a part of a shared pill cinematic universe. And this is going to be about a society named the Red Alchemist Society. So this is from someone who collected like notes over the commentary from Get Out. They said there is a ton of fascinating information contained in the commentary, but my favorite had to do with the lore and myths in Get Out universe. Early in the film, we see Jeremy Armitage at attack Andre wearing a metal helmet. This is specifically a helmet of the Knights Templar. The order which the Armitages and the guests of the party belong to is called the Red Alchemist Society. They are descendants from the Knights Templar. They believe they are destined for immortality and status over hundreds of years they have worked to figure out through a science through science a way to achieve the power of the holy grail now the power of the holy grail to my knowledge and from what i've just been told and heard of over the years of being on this earth is that the holy grail would have the power to heal all wounds deliver eternal youth and grant everlasting happiness now before i get further this was an image that shout out to the person who tagged me in this on twitter this was an image apparently of a poster that was present at cinemacon where you have a ufo floating above in in the sky this of course signaling to us that there are definitely aliens involved here this time around uh now my thing here is that what if as you see in the thumbnail what if there are no aliens what if this is again just jordan peele further furthering something related to this red alchemist society who the armitages were revealed to be a part of there's also several things in get out that point to the red alchemist society's presence even though you don't actually have this outwardly stated anywhere in the movie it's the commentary that you can find on get out that's quite interesting are the red alchemist society staging something to make it look like a you look like an alien invasion these humans never see these aliens i'll just say let's say they never even see these aliens let's take it even a step further to say that the brief glimpse of what many people are saying is an alien in the trailer isn't even an alien but someone dressed like an alien maybe this is an innocent child playing a joke or someone a part of this red alchemist society dressed like this thing that these people are fearing in an effort to keep them in fear while they continue to accomplish their ultimate end game which would be of course achieving the powers of the holy grail which would be powers to heal all wounds deliver eternal youth and grant everlasting happiness now we know that in get out they managed to accomplish this by transferring their consciousness into the bodies of black individuals who they felt had the genetic advantage. This stemming from a loss that one of the elderly Armitages back in the day had felt or had developed this thought process developed from losing to, I believe, Jesse Owens at the Olympic Games. So that's where that came from. Maybe there's an actual reason why these movies are set in these different time periods. Us and Get Out, of course, are closely together, but this one seems to be set in the 2000s. Maybe this is one of those earlier experiments that, again, apparently, according to Jordan Peele, have been trying. They've been trying to accomplish from over hundreds of years. That this is one of those things where they were staging an alien invasion in a certain area and were abducting humans somehow convincing them to offer up animals uh 
as like offerings for in return i guess peace in this area this ranch area that the haywards are, are occupying and what's going on actually in this ufo there's no aliens on board it's the red alchemist society what they're doing is working on seeing if there's any benefit to combining humans and animals creating human animal hybrids maybe that is also why some of these things we see in the trailer that look like deformities are just failed failed results from these experiments on this craft where these people who have not been able to provide any beneficial results were just sent back to earth uh of course nobody nobody questions how they ended up the way that they were maybe this is also someone who no one really cared about when they got abducted so then when they were magically back you know no one questions anything they just have a deformity and maybe this is again just something again connected to the red alchemist society there's not actually an alien invasion going on it's just that this red alchemist society who jordan peele has talked about again that has been around for hundreds of years trying to achieve their goal of the powers of the the holy grail through all these different experiments and this would be us seeing one of their earlier failed attempts through staging a alien invasion abducting humans abducting animals aboard a quote-unquote alien spacecraft conducting experiments to see if there's any benefits to combining humans and animals so if there's benefits that they can see from it they themselves will start to use themselves for practices like that so they can continue to gain their benefits such as again achieving eternal youth grant everlasting happiness healing all wounds if there's any health benefits from it these elitists will capitalize on it and i think this would also then lead us into the idea of talking about the fact that even in the movie us there is a character named red is he hinting at the red alchemist society the society that might be pulling a lot of strings here in this i guess you could say conspiracy theorist involved shared jordan peele universe where this could ultimately end up leading us into a sequel to get out he's actually expressed interest in this in the past and maybe he's carving his path there maybe the sequel to get out will be the fallout of the events of us because maybe the alchemist society is also responsible for those clones that were again another failed experiment on their behalf but what they achieved in get out was a success however one of their previous failed experiments has now been made globally known across the nation and that could end up being a fallout to seeing them getting exposed in a sequel to get out the red alchemist society let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you think it's possible if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification if you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video